yeah. Two weeks of high had passed, I couldn't see the sky from the rain. I was on my own with no control, no peace of the soul. But I still envision living to see the day. Finally, had missing pieces of my soul, but school at the time had just appointed me to work in the store next to the street where the big kangaroo lives. I was right, we did it first, since I never had denied the work. As the time went by, in my eyes, seemed like a curse. You may wonder why, so I'ma tell you why. See, I had to do shit no one wanted to do, and some of them were rude. So pretty soon I resorted to flunking their shit too. I used to sit in the bar, bamboo, cocoa cuff, really depended on my funds. I ain't go with no one but by myself Play games, watch some of YouTube is what I used to do At the time I still attend the school But like two to three times a week But as the time went by that number gradually decreased Around late September I been in the bar Played a travels game with cars Till I had a thought maybe I should play me a song Though I ain't listened to music since like grade 56 Then I fell in love with the rap And once again it felt like I finally gained some space in which I can breathe from the corner they put me in, the one filled with torment. Slowly but surely I enjoyed every second of listening to the record, it gave me back my senses, but it ain't last long, if you remember city ties and the death of my Samson, yeah. My phone died man, there was nothing I could do, like I couldn't stay home, I would be bored. So I had to attend the school and go work in that fucking red hole of a store. I didn't want to do any of those things, bro. Like I said, there was no options. Every day I was making my own lyrics in my head and daydreamed about the day I finally get a new phone. I tried to flunk that fucking store one day in that bar with my mom's tablet. But that shit's very drained like 20 minutes. So I just came back home. I ain't give a fuck. Until the November of 2016 When I finally got a new phone, the Lenovo C2 Man, the first thing I did that evening was go to that bar Download all my games I played and of course, songs I really felt immense relief that night Words can't describe, I'm God since like a week of having a new phone I ain't give a fuck about school anymore I just stayed home I mean I still attended school from time to time But I was really getting pissed off By them goofies who been telling me To go buy them shit in the bakery Sure they gave me money But I ain't finna do it on daily basis Cause first time I did it for them I ain't do it in shape of a favor I did it from the good in heart And them puny fucks So it is opportunity to take advantage of in the store, I remember mopping floors in the storage in that parking lot full of snow. One day, that bitch, that second store manager in storage, tossed a cigarette on the ground and expected me to clean this shit up. So, of course, I flunked and stopped showing up. Been like two months, I still haven't received a dime. Oh, I ra oh and around that time, Mrs. Pests. Pardon me, I meant Mrs. Fly's son Who lives on first floor of this fortress Started knocking on our door and Made false complaints how the garden door should be closed Cause it causes dread, but it was kept And ever since then that psychopath started acting up And even taking it out on his cat Which has grown but was built like a kitten As it was underfed I remember it hunting down pigeons for years just to eat And the way it feared humans it never wanted to play Only wanted you to open the door so so it can escape from the fortress air And as it was the beginning of 17 I'm basically spending all time of day in bars Roaming the block or anything that'll kill the time As at the time I ain't even had peace at home And I switched them bars like sucks Just so motherfuckers don't think I'm tweaking or some Cause I couldn't tell no one what is up And I live that life in which your goal is to survive the day Not giving a fuck about tomorrow until it comes See, that's how pretty much the whole year was, roaming, finding my escape from this life in a cage. I remember that Thursday evening when I came home and I saw the signs of heavy breathing on the first hamster I had. His movements were slow and he was unwilling to play. 
I remember him barely breathing the next morning. You know what I'm saying? So I just went to school and thought it would non-stop while I was there. Unfortunately, when I came back, he was dead. It did give me a feel of creeps in my body, as I was used to seeing play, run, eat, climb, pretty much all types of shit. And just like that, he was gone. I remember calling my mom, like, sup, Alf is gone. She was like, nah, he's sleeping probably. But before I made a call, I wanted to move in with a ruler. We stood beside the cage, but he was dead, and that shit ain't help. We just made things worse, as now he laid on his back. Damn! I took a couple of photos in that moment, but those are rarely opened.